I want to make a set of responsive um, grid definitions in CSS so I can define a page um, and say it has several vertical columns across and I can use those columns to sort of set the widths of where everything gets laid out. Um, to make it responsive, I want to use percentages so that it adjusts the width of those divs as the page size changes. So I'm going to start um, with an example that just uses a 10 column grid because it's easy to calculate the numbers um, very quickly for that. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the widths of what each column should be. And I'm going to do that in a series of classes. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to define um, what the width of each class uh, column should be. So if I have 10 total columns, then one, a one column div should have 100% um, of the page divided by 10. So that's 10% of the width of the page. Okay. And two across should then be 20%. Oops. And three across should be 30%, and four across should be 40%. So this is why I chose 10, because it's pretty easy to remember, see what the numbers are. If you have a different number of columns, you just divide by that number and keep building on top of it. So five is 50%, six is 60%, Seven is seventy percent. Eight oops, is eighty percent. Nine is ninety percent. And ten is all of it, so that's a hundred percent. So I have these column width set up. Let me go into my HTML page. I already have it linked to that style sheet here with the grid10.css. I'm gonna make some divs and see uh, how that looks. Uh, so let's do column one. So let's do, let's go backwards. So this is the full page 10. Okay, let's make some that are not, so this will be, oh gosh, why can't I type? One, two, seven. All right, let's see what that looks like currently. Well, not much. I can't really tell what anything's doing because I don't have any other styles defined. So let me go back into this sheet and um, give this thing some style rules. There's a selector that lets you choose everything that starts with the same um, beginning. So all my things start with colon and hyphen. So I'm going to say star equals. And I'm going to put call dash here. So I can define styles on all those guys at the same time, but not put it um, just on divs in case I want to use divs for something else on the page also. So let's give this guy a border so we can see it. Oh, let's make it one dex actually. And let's give it a background color. And let's give it a little bit of padding. Um, I want to do my padding and percentages too because everything needs to adjust as the page grows and shrinks. So let's do percent, one percent. Okay. Let's see here. Let's do something wrong here. Let's see. Oh, I type too much here. Call the hyphen is what I want it to begin with. All right, so here they are. It's taking up 10% um, of the page, 20% of the page, 70% of the page. So I have um, my first problem, obviously, is that they are not floating next to each other. So let's do this. Let's make this float. Left. Okay. All right, so now these guys are floating. This guy's not. Now, theoretically, I say to myself, well, 
This is 10%, 20%, and 70%, so they should fit next to each other. But since I added um, some padding and border, that is currently adding on to those percentages so they don't all quite fit on the screen. There's an easy fix for that. So what I want to do is I want to tell everything, I'm going to do this at the beginning, I want to tell everything on the whole page to use this style rule called um, box size. So if I set this to border box, that says take the box model when you're specifying the percentage for width, um, include any content, any padding, and any border in that width. So if I have here specified the padding and the border, um, that's, that's building inside of this width percentage that I say. So now these guys should fit on the screen next to each other. Yes, yeah, so I've got one, two, and seven. Okay. There's just one last thing I want to do. Um, if I have... I now have basically everything on the page floating, which can cause some issues with, with stuff trying to like scooch up next to it in some cases. So I'm going to start a practice of always surrounding each row with its another additional um, container div. And I'm going to give it class row. So I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put it around my full page here. Let's just put this down. And I'm going to put it here. I'm going to close it off down here. Okay. And then I need to give it a style rule. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say, okay, row. And this is a pseudo class selector. I'm going to say, every, anytime you have an element that comes directly after a row, I want you to clear out the content. Um, I want you to clear both, which means stop any floats. And I want you to, I have to cheat and look at my notes. Display block. Okay. Oh, thanks, dog, for contributing to this video. And now nothing will try to float up next to these guys on the page. Um, let me prove to you that it is responsive. Here it is, growing and shrinking. Oh shoot! Come here. Why can't I grab it? So the columns are adjusting in width as I change the size of the page. Um, so that's why it's responsive.